What's up guys, Mickle here, and today we're getting into Penn National Gaming Stock. This is the company that recently acquired a 50% stake or 36% stake in Barstool, and this amount is look and they're looking to increase this amount in the future. I currently hold Penn National Gaming and it was one of the first stocks I bought back here in about January of 2020 before I slowly watched it drop. 73% to around four to seven dollars. There I watched Dave Portnoy do a live stream where he said he was buying a whole bunch of the stock and that convinced me to add more, which turned out to be an amazing decision. And then I then watched Penn rocket almost a thousand percent. Currently Penn is on a pretty serious dip and just the other day was down almost 50% where I did add more around 70 dollars. $70. Now I still think Penn could be a decent buy, but I'm watching it, I'm waiting for it to create this rounded bottom here before it makes new all-time highs. If you like videos like this and you want to learn more about Penn, make sure you like this video, you subscribe to my channel, and comment down below what you think of the channel. I'm looking to make a lot more videos like this, and we're look, I'm looking to make money with you guys so we can call out potential great investments like I see here with Penn National Gaming. So. One thing I want to point out is coming all the, off the illness, Penn had a great year. Their revenue was up 405%, net income was up 200%, and their profit margin was up almost 118%. This is likely due to the Barstool acquisition and moving more towards digital advertising, digital media, and digital sports gambling. If you guys didn't know, Penn's old business really had to do with casinos, which I don't think casinos are going away anytime soon, and a lot of these are great properties, but I think this is a great transition for them into a more digital age. I think these can be used perfectly alongside the current bar Barstool platform, and they're gonna complement each other well. Also, this gives a nice foundation to the business, so it's not just Barstool you're getting. You're also getting a great casino business, and I really like that because it adds some diversification to my tech-heavy portfolio. Um, one of the reasons why I think uh, Barstool is such a massive addition for this company is they have over 11.1 million followers on Instagram, 3 million on Twitter, and almost a million on YouTube. This is essentially free advertisement for whatever they want to launch in the future. You saw a pretty similar success with Tesla and Elon Musk, where Elon Musk had such a massive following, he was able to advertise everything Tesla was doing for free purely on his own. I think Barstool is going to have that same exact ability, and just like Tesla, it has a cult-like following who love the company. It's a full-on brand. It's not some like average kind of sports betting company that people are just using because they offer good promos. People who are going to be using the Barstool app are going to love Barstool and are going to spend money on pretty much anything Barstool puts in front of them. I think Barstool is a great brand and I love investing in brands like this that people can't get enough of. Bar if you guys didn't know, Barstool is currently launching its own sports book, which I believe is massive because it's going to be a great way to drive revenue in the future, and legal sports betting is, an ex is a business that's expanding. So not only is Barstool going to continue to take market share, but the market's, market's going to be continue to be created in front of them as more states legalize sports betting. The more states that legalize sports betting, it, the more money Barstool can reach out and bring in as addressable revenue. I really like this because I like investing in companies where not only is the company growing, but they're in a growing sector. I think because of the illness, tax revenue is really going to be needed by a lot of different states. So legalized sports betting is a great way to get some tax revenue. And Barstool is going to be the one, the number one or number two player in almost all of these states, along with, along with DraftKings, which is another company I own. Personally, I live in New England, so I like Barstool a little bit more. But I think both are great stocks, and I love investing in sectors that are growing as well as the companies in the sectors. I think that's a great setup where even if the company doesn't execute that, even if the company doesn't execute perfectly, it doesn't matter because the sector is growing so fast. It just looks like they're executing amazingly because their addressable market is growing with them. Uh, big news recently, Penn National Gaming recently brought the score. The score is one of the biggest uh, 
one of the biggest it's essentially just like a news media online news media outlet for different sports this is going to be directly integrated into barstool sports betting app and everything they're already doing i currently think this i definitely think this was a great investment for them and i think as barstool continues to push their online media brand they're just going to slowly grow and grow into a massive sports conglomerate in the industry i think the more and more they expand this the higher and higher multiple that pen should trade at and at currently a 12.53 billion dollar market cap i think this could really expand pretty rapidly at as barstool shifts the company to more and more uh online forms of revenue this is kind of like what i said in my blackberry video where Previously, BlackBerry was trading at pretty low multiples because they were doing a hardware cell phone business, but are transitioning into cybersecurity that drives a higher multiple. I think the same thing could be said for Penn, but not only that, you're getting a great brand with some really great people behind the company. Even though Dave Portnoy is kind of a clown, he did take Barstool from nothing into now pretty much valued oh, close to a probably like a five billion dollar business and i don't think barstool is done yet i think uh whether you love him or hate him he's done great things for the company and i really do think barstool is just getting started because this isn't a business that really has a cap it can grow it can keep growing and expanding and as long as the sector keeps growing i don't see any reason why barstool wouldn't either Anyway, guys, if you're still around, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below what you think of Penn National Stock. And yeah, keep posted in the future because I'm going to be doing a lot more videos like this. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in, and Mickle out.